realized Matt's the only debut marathoner in this group. So, are you? Hope you're excited. But I'm very excited. A little fear. I mean, it's the unknown. So, what? Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, a little, but but able to control the emotions so far, and um, I think I don't fear the distance, but I respect it. Um, you know, having run a couple really long runs in training, I know at least what what it's going to feel like to be on my legs that long. Uh, I don't know what the pace is going to feel like for that long, but um, I feel I feel 100% confidence in my coach Ben Rosario and my team, and he's the elite and. Uh, I'm, I feel like I'm ready to go, but I would certainly welcome advice from any of these guys or anyone else that would offer anything. What, does Culpepper have a debut record for Americans? Yeah. Uh, Ryan Hall still has it, 208.24, oh. or got it from Culpepper, mm-hmm. I should say. Yeah. So that's, that's, it's, a, that's a little bit more out there. It, it, it was on my mind for a while. Uh, it's still, I mean, that would be going out on 211 pace and then coming back and hitting 208.24 would be <laughs> uh, pretty nuts, but... Pretty um, awesome, actually. Yeah, that would be awesome. Come on, do it. <laughs> be awesome. There uh, it is. He just predicted it. Yeah, so I, I don't know if it'll happen tomorrow, but I'd be I'd be happy with anything under two ten. Anyone want to get advice? Like I did my first uh, marathon at the Olympic Trials of 2012, and I went in it with just a half and 10k credentials, and I mean, just like really, really respect the distance. Cause, I mean, you can say you have you have a half or a ten k or whatever, but the marathon, the last six miles is like the another half. So, just I mean, some people are great at running their first marathon. Others, I can't include myself in that group. So, I mean, it was just a <laughs> struggle. But um, but yeah, I mean, it's a hit or miss. I mean, marathon, you can be in shape to run two ten, and I mean, yeah, it's just a hit or miss. So. Yeah. It, it, like you said, you could be in shape to run a 210 and all hell breaks loose. I mean, you're always a quarter mile away from your PR. That's the way it always works is things are going great until they aren't. Um, you know, sometimes you got a bear on your back and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, I ran my first marathon here in Chicago in 2006 and uh, I remember being on 217 pace through 24 miles and running to 2012. <laughs> I'll just say uh, 7.52 last mile was not because I was shutting it down, taking it easy, just <laughs> preserving the A standard. I missed the A standard by 12 seconds, and there was nothing I could have done to change that last mile. And it, it, it's going great until it's not. It sounds redundant and stupid, but it's the truth. A marathon is going great until it's not going great. And it's that definite. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, I would say he enters this marathon with better a better half marathon, better road racing credentials than any of us have. I mean, he's run 61, 40, so I'd say take advantage of being naive. I mean, you got you got the tools to to run under 210 in your first one. So, you know, you're only gonna know, you know you're only gonna have one first to go out there and take advantage of not knowing what's gonna happen. So, why not this one? Yes, I, I think you got a good plan to run a small negative split, and I would just say to not to, to just just be patient. Don't make any sudden moves early in the race. You know, even if you feel great, because a lot of people's story of their first marathon is, oh, I felt great at mile five, ran such and such a pace, and I don't know what happened at mile twenty one. You know. <laughs> So, <laughs> I think you got a good plan, though, to, to stay sort of conservative and try to pick it up the second half. I think that's a good way to do it.